Canterbury last start. Now they're all in. Doesn't hold them long. Red light immediately and they're racing. Brasinga out wide, got the best of the start. Flaming Star was away centre field. Monty Itchy Band's going back to last. And at the judge with a round to go, it's Brasinga rolling to the lead, trying to cross those three deep for the moment. Al's Choice booting up underneath it and Party Policy's third on the fence as they go into that first bend. Flaming Star will bal balance up fourth, the outside of Laurie's Love past the 1400. Then Bogey and Bacall and Monty Itchy Band just shading it on the inside who's at the tail. Running to the back section now, and they've got just short of 1,200 metres to go, and Brasinga, as she loves to do, she leads out by a length and a half on party policy. Third was Al's choice. He's enjoying the run of the race third. Then Flaming Star. He's about six lengths off the leader here. Then Laurie's Love, Bogey and Bacall. And the nine-year-old Monty Itchy Band is last of all, passing the 1,000. They're making tracks up towards that top corner now, and Brasinga backing up from Tuesday. She's out by a length and a half on party policy, who's also having a second run this week. Al's Choice is two and a half lengths away in third spot and Flaming Star just starting to sneak closer now. He's within four to five lengths of the leaders coming to the 700. Laurie's Love on the fence. Then Bogey and Bacall and Monty Itchy Band is still last of all and being scrubbed along. As they run up towards the home corner, 500 metres out, Brasinga narrowly. Party Policy closing in on the corner, gets within a head. Then Laurie's Love, he's getting off the inside from Al's Choice who was struggling. Flaming Star pulls to the outside, Bogey and Bacall. And Monty Itchy Band's got a lot of work to do, he's floundering under the big weight at the tail. 300 out, Party Policy and Brasinga together. Laurie's Love, Flaming Star next on the outside. Bogey and Bacall running on. 200 metres to go. Laurie's Love hanging in badly. They haven't got to Brasinga and Party Policy yet. Flaming Star late on the outside. Party Policy, Brasinga, Flaming Star. Bogey and Bacall on the outside fence. Party Policy. Party Policy's one of the head to Brasinga. Bogey and Bacall has flashed up late under the speakers and Flaming Star was there for fourth. Followed by Laurie's Love, who didn't go straight up the running. He wanted to bore in badly. Monty Itchy Ben, Al's Choice has finished at the end. Party Policy wins it. Number five, Party Policy. Good training performance from John Nisbet. Having his second run in uh, a week. He raced here on Tuesday and he's backed up here on the Friday to win. And... He scores from, I'd say, Brasinga second in front of six, Bogey and Bacall, and that's the way the judge sees it. It's five, eight, and six. Two's run four, Flaming Star. 1.47.09 is the time for the journey. Five, the winner, Party Policy, a gelding by bureaucracy from Miss Fancy Pants, Riley Saxton, for John Nisbet. Once he stepped up over ground, this horse, he's been uh, a different kettle of fish. He's really relished the longer trips. He's defeated Brasinga, who gave a big side a huge odds. Deanne Pena for Gary Cocking and